Everyone gets bills, whether it's for a car payment, a mortgage, or medical bills. No one likes getting these bills or paying for them. But what if you got the same bill twice, asking you to pay for something that you've already paid for? Or even worse, asking you to pay for a medical procedure that you never even had in the first place? Well, this does happen, and it's called duplicate billing. Duplicate billing is one of the top five most common reasons for healthcare claim denials. Not only does it lead to denials, but government agencies may accuse healthcare organizations of fraud if they continuously run into this problem. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Moneypenny, and today I'm going to teach you more about duplicate billing and what could cost your organization thousands of dollars. Before diving deeper into this subject, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click on the alert bell icon so that you're notified when we post new helpful content. Duplicate billing in healthcare occurs when an organization bills for the same service more than once. The wrong patient service, services that were never performed, or an attempt to bill a private insurance company or patient right away. After you receive a health service, your doctor submits a claim to your healthcare insurance in order to receive any kind of form of payment. It's your doctor's responsibility to record that the submission occurred in the first place, and if the doctor submits a duplicate claim, the insurance provider will reject it and send it back to your doctor as Claim Adjustment Reason Code, or CARC, number 18, Exact Duplicate Claim Service. There are two types of duplicate claims, exact duplicates and suspect duplicates. The general definition of an exact duplicate claim is one that contains the exact same information as a previously submitted claim. Some insurance payers use different definitions and criteria to determine if a claim is a duplicate. But as an example, the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services, or the CMS, evaluates the following within claims when determining if an insurance claim is a duplicate. Build amount, HIC number, from the date of service, place of service, procedure code, provider number, through the date of service, and type of service. A suspect duplicate claim, on the other hand, contains similar information to the one that was already submitted. These claims contain matching beneficiary identification, matching provider identification, and the same date of service. Physicians can appeal both exact and suspect duplicate claims. Immediate costs associated with a duplicate claim is the delays or loss in payment, loss in reputation, and even a fraud investigation if the behavior continues. Duplicate billing causes more than just a monetary loss. Now, as a patient, you'd probably be confused if you received a medical bill for something that you already paid off. So you'd likely call your doctor's office to try and fix this mistake. But if this happened after every single time you visited your physician, you'd probably switch your doctors out of pure frustration. Now, at this point, maybe the mistake was from your insurance provider. The insurance payer would lose trust in your doctor if duplicate billing continues. So the doctor would face investigations, audits, and even fraud disputes if the issue persisted. Insurance companies are getting better at identifying fraudulent behavior. If you're a doctor's office or medical practice, it's imperative that you realize that resubmitting duplicate claims without proper remediation techniques negatively impacts your revenue and your reputation. If you continue down this route, you'll face an investigation and maybe even fraud penalties. If you want to learn more about duplicate billing, reach out to eTactics. Now you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like, subscribe, share it, or comment below.